Welcome to the Halloween special of Why So Serious. There's Rory getting in on camera too there. <laughs> <laughs> I got nearly... I but apologize for nothing. I am I'm very scared right now. <coughs> this is the Halloween special. Mm. And it's good, very scary here in the IFI. Spooky ghost. Thanks again to the IFI for letting us film in their lovely screen three. You're very good, IFI. Thank you. So we're gonna tell you what horror films we think you should watch this Halloween. Brogan's going to uh Brogan is a wuss. So Brogan's going to go for the less scary horror movies. So if you're slightly on the woodsy side like me, you might want to follow my recommendations. I genuinely like um, scary, very scary horror films, so I'm going to give you the three uh, scariest, in my opinion, of recent times anyway. So, so yeah. So in no particular order. Except alphabetical, numerical, By chronological. Genre. Yeah. By genre. Scary film for those who don't want to be scared too badly Whoopies. is Scream. The very first one, the original and the best one, because I am a gigantic wuss. I have never <laughs> seen the opening scene where Drew Barrymore bites it. Apparently it's great. Everyone here is telling me it's great, but I've actually never seen it. Funny and scary and it plays with the horror movie rules and uh, the characters are quite likeable apart from Courtney Cox because she's not supposed to be likeable. And it's kind of a classic at this point. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. It is. I actually prefer the second one. Do you? Yeah. Really? Have you seen it? Yeah. The bit in the car. Oh, yeah. I love that bit. But, um... I remember seeing Scream 3 <coughs> in the Savoy when it came out in the cinema. And my friend went like this to me in a scary bit. And I screamed. And someone, like, right down the front of the Savoy, because I screamed, started fucking freaking out and screaming and, like, running towards the exits. It was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. It's a load of top, isn't it? A, a scary film for people who like getting scared quite a bit would be um, The Descent, which is about a group of um, female cave divers who discover this undiscovered um, system of caves and they're all like going down and having a look, and then there's a cave in. And then they discovered they're not quite alone in the cave system, oh. and uh, there's monsters. But it's very scary and quite violent. My second choice would be Fright Night, the remake. <laughs> the one that came out last year. Um, it's not particularly scary, but it is a fairly decent vampire flick. It's quite funny quite entertaining it's kind of similar lines to scream that kind of teen horror film um but it's the first vampire film to come out in a while that actually to reminds audiences that the vampire is a monster and that's someone to fall in love with and he doesn't sparkle in daylight uh colin farrell is great in it i thought he um was just the right amount of creepy but fun as well and uh i just love david tennant in it. i think he's absolutely hilarious so yeah my second choice would be Fright Night. What's your second choice for it? Will I tell you or will I tell everyone else? Tell everyone. Will I tell everyone? Tell everyone. Uh, my second choice would be a wreck. <laughs> which is bracket or you see the end of that bracket. Uh, it's in Spanish, so I know that's like half the audience already gone. No, I'm not reading it. <laughs> um, news crew were following around a fire engine brigade. Uh, for a night and the fire crew gets called to an apartment complex to uh, investigate uh, something and while they're in there the whole complex is shut down by a it's put, put in a quarantine and they discover that there's a virus loose inside the building and it's starting to turn everyone super violent oh that's super violent as well it's really scary uh, it's very good it's has a part 2 which is equally good and a part 3 which is terrible if you haven't seen it, well, yeah, you then you should. And my final choice would be, it's 28 Days Later. Um, this film absolutely scared the flip out of me, mostly because uh, the zombies are fast. Like slow zombies <laughs> you can deal with because you can get away from them and you know, outfox them because they're quite stupid and slow. But these zombies leg it. Brendan Gleeson in particular, his transformation into a zombie was quite heartbreaking and scary and kind of unfortunate 
Yeah, it was yeah. really the most unlucky <laughs> zombie transformation I've <laughs> yeah, ever encountered. Yeah, pretty much. Talk about wrong place, wrong time. It was like yeah, <laughs> it was like a perfect set of dominoes just had to ta- <laughs> had to have happened for for his transformation. It's quite haunting in a non-scary way. I mean, seeing the streets of such a busy city empty, and then the see the bit at the end with the house and the soldiers and the their ulterior motives. Mm. That was quite scary too. So yeah, Twenty Eight Days Later would be my final choice of movies to watch this Halloween. Uh, my final choice is. Uh, the Blue Witch Project, which probably everyone has seen at this point. Um, I am. No? No. Oh. Told you don't I was. You don't. Uh, if you don't know what it's about, it's about three uh, film college students who, who try to do a documentary on the Blair Witch, and then they get lost in the woods. And that's pretty much it. But it kind of didn't invent but pretty much made everyone aware of the whole found footage mm. phenomenon. Uh, phenomenon and the ending I, I've only seen it once the ending but I can I can watch the entire film up until the last five minutes because the ending scared me so much <laughs> that I can't watch it again because it, it just completely unnerved me I'm so glad I'm not the only person who's a wuss and can't watch parts of horror films. You make me feel so much better about myself, Yay. Rory. <laughs> We're like similar in that one in, way. In, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so there are picks for Halloween. Halloween. Mary, we've um, got a quick, quick pick, Mary. Quick pick, Mary. Quick pick, Brian. Suspiria. Okay. Maybe. If you want a good laugh, hostel. <laughs> okay. Hostel and Suspiria from our Crew behind Two very the camera. different choices there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eclectic bunch as we are. Hostel is one of the worst horror films ever made, but it's funny as hell. <laughs> is it funny? It's oh my god! I sat laughing through the. Mind you, I was actually working in a hostel at the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> you see Padu? No. That's even funnier. Is it? <laughs> so happy Halloween. Let us know what you are going to watch this Halloween or what you do watch this Halloween. And above all, be safe out there. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was timed really, really well. I was going to run up behind and go, ah! <laughs> Should we try that again? No, I want to go. <laughs> oh my god, there's someone here! There's someone here! Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> No, no, actually, no, I actually just end with a camera lying down like that. <laughs> just blur it and I'll stand in the corner like the end of the Blue Witch, just like... Uh. Yeah! <laughs>